Hey, N4 H and H here. I've got something new to open up. Uh, let me get over here on the other camera so you can see the box here. It's from Vibraplex. Okay. Well, we've got some illustrious peanuts. <laughs> uh, let me get get those out of there. So I'm going to uh, open this up, show you what it is, and then I'm going to install it and show it to you in action. From International Radio, NRAD. Well, it's Vibraplex, you know, that owns them now. And I'll show you what this is. It is a 1800 hertz filter, 9 megahertz. So it's for the first IF of my... There it goes, it finally focused. For the first IF of my FTDX 5000 in piece, I'll tell you why I ordered that. They're getting to be very scarce, any of the additional filters for that radio. Uh, there were some others I would have liked to have gotten, but I couldn't. But I'll tell you what I did, what I'm doing with this. My radio has the 300 hertz roofing filter for CW, and I, I use it. I never use the 600 hertz roofing filter. It's got the 3 kilohertz roofing filter, of course, for sideband. And then I wanted to be able to narrow down because sometimes these contesters move in right next to my QSO. And I wanted, to, yeah, you got digital. So so you guys understand the DSP width, that's happening way late in the receiver chain. That is, well, DSP, it's after all the IF stages. And, um, well, it's part of the last IF stage. And so uh, it's a little bit late to try to deal with interference and noise. This is in the front end of the receiver. So... I want to narrow down to 1800 hertz physically with this crystal filter before the digital filter ever has to do anything. And you you know you've heard me talk about this that you know you want to try to eliminate noise and interference in the front end of the receiver first. Let your DSP deal with the leftovers. I want to install this in the place of the 600 hertz roofing filter that I don't use. I'll keep the three kilohertz in there, but I'll have this as an alternative when I need to narrow even more uh, when I've got sideband interference. So um, we'll see how it goes. You know, flying by the seat of my pants here. I'll be back with you after I get the radio apart, and I'll show you where I'm going to install this. Okay, here I am at the FTDX 5000, and I've got the top cover off. All it is are four screws, two in front, two in back on the top, and then you have three screws down the, each side, and the top cover lifts off. Now I've got this part here. This little plate I'm going to take off. And this is where you install your filters. Okay, so you see in there, those are the filters. And I'm going to be pulling out the 600 hertz filter and replacing it with this 1800 hertz. Back in a moment. Okay, you reach in there, it feels tight, but you just kind of wiggle the filter back and forth until you can pull it off the board. There it is. And this is the 600 hertz Yesu filter, which is the XF126C. I never use that one because I've got the 300 in there. That was optional on earlier radios, uh, but the MP model came equipped with that filter. Now I will install the NRAD filter. Okay, here's the NRAD filter, it has an adapter board. Their filter is a little bit taller than the Yesu filter, and uh, it may mean that I need to cut a little bit of that foam out right there to get it to fit. The other thing you want to check for, you see the, the pins here are a little bit bent from packaging. You want to make sure these are straight so that you, you're sure they line up when you plug it in. Okay, I want to get in tight here so you can see. See what I mean? It's sticking out more than the other two filters, and I won't kid you. There's six pins to line up and getting them perfectly straight and lined up with the holes. Uh, it took about five minutes of trying to get that right, but it's installed now. And so I'll put everything back together and give it a test. Actually, I'll probably power it up right now just to be sure before I put all the screws back in. Okay, I just put the top cover back on. I did not install this uh, plate yet. I put the top cover on so I could plug in my speaker and check it out. And so here we are right now. Um, there's the three kilohertz filter. Uh, 
Okay, and I'm using IP01. Well, this guy, Billy, he's still 10 over 9. He's strong. He's got a great station. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't have the volume turned down. Billy, who's just talking, he's got a very strong station. Even with IP01 turned on, he's 10 over 9. I've got a little bit of power line noise beginning to creep back in again. Uh, my friend Jeff, W4DD, if you saw my videos about power line noise, he came out today and identified two new poles that are causing problems. So if you hear a little grind in there, that's what it is. So now when I switch to the uh, 600 hertz filter, it's actually going to the 1800. So here we go. There we go, 1800 hertz. There's 3000. Now, that's the 3000 hertz filter, but I'm listening right now. The radio is set for its default. See this button here is not lit. The middle button above the knob. Let me zoom in. I'll get it over here by the radio. All right, so this middle button here, if that's not engaged, then the DSP width is not engaged or, or I don't control it. And so it defaults at 2.4K. I'm going to engage it, and there's 2.8. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch that roofing filter. So now the roofing filter is taking precedence over the DSP width, okay? Back to 3K. Now, all right, so even with the 3K filter, I can narrow down. I don't like snake music. To 1800. Digitally, yes, I believe the only good take is the but this is late in the game. This is in the last IF stage. That's right. That's Roofing that, filters that, in the first exactly IF stage. The and, uh, so if I do it there, I'm taking care of noise or interference from earlier in the receiver chain. Okay, let me let you hear the difference between uh, 1800 hertz roofing filter and 1800 hertz digital. So here I am over here at 1.8 kilohertz digital using a 3 kilohertz roofing filter. Okay, give it a listen. Anybody else hearing that? I hear it, Jeremy. He doesn't sound as loud. Okay, now I'm turning off the digital. He sounds weaker. And going to the crystal roofing filter that's 1.8 kilohertz. Get out your crystal wrench and walk around that joint one time. Because you, we talked about. Get back to the 3K roofing filter and digital. You got funky audio, so there's something on this 1800. You know. There's 1.8 kilohertz. I think everything's connected, okay? Oops. All right, digital we'll, off. We'll let you know when you get it fixed. Crystal roofing filter. Uh, see the Lego 8 Hotel India Fox. Did so digital width time? is off. Still DSP. And brings us uh, North Carolina. Key the Lego 8 Hotel India Fox. Mr. Hammer. Hammer time. Check in, check in. Let's start out the bottom. Now let me show you something that I did. When I'm, since I'm going to use that 1800 a lot, I went into menu 105 and uh, adjusted the LSB carrier insertion point down to minus 150. What that does is that decides where is zero shift. I want zero shift to be favoring lower frequency response. And on the USB, I did negative 200. It just, I just thought it sounded better on USB. So I'm just basically deciding where is the center of shift. And that's going to give it a little bit more low end to make up for when I'm using that 600 hertz crystal filter. Now you might be wondering, well, what do you do then when you go back to your 3K filter, like I just did? Well, I can just shift and go positive with the shift if I think it's if I think it's too dark sounding. Thank you very much. And let me 
me scroll down. So that's here. that's how that works. Check in for North American traffic and awards net. Please give us a call. Okay, right now it's 3K filter, no digital, so it's a 2.4K bandwidth. Uh, well, and I say no digital, it defaults to 2.4 when I don't when I don't press that button and make a change. Okay, so now there's 1800. That's the default. You get that whether the button's on or not. Now it goes, I'm going down to 1.8K, which is 1800 hertz. So DSP width, 1800, but a three kilohertz roofing filter. Now I'm gonna turn off the DSP 1800 and go to the crystal 1800. I mean, there's just some clarity there. Of course, you're knocking some of that low end roar out. Back to the 3K. Dealer Charlie One Indian and Romeo again. Now you're gonna need notice the S meter drops a little bit when I go to the 1800 because of insertion loss. To get that Romeo, he takes a so every time. Changes it a little bit. But the reason I installed that is Dealer so Warren, I can I can battle QR Mary in the front end of the receiver. Somebody moves in close while I'm trying to listen. I can deal with it first in the front end of the receiver and let the DSP maybe, you know, put the icing on it, if you will. I appreciate you coming along as I did this uh, upgrade here, what I consider an upgrade. So I replaced the 600 hertz uh, roofing filter that came from Yesu with an 1800 hertz uh, crystal roofing filter from International Radio, NRAD. And I put it into where, where the 600 was. Now I still have the 300 for CW. And, uh, but this one will be an alternate for sideband to help squash uh, QR Mary when it moves in close to the frequency I'm listening on. Now, if you're wondering what the 1800 Hertz filter can do in noisy conditions, listen to that. So now I'm on the 1800 hertz filter. Remember, it's in the 600 hertz slot. All right, hey, thanks for watching videos on my channel. Please listen for another 32 seconds. I want to recognize five of the Patreon team long haulers. These are people who join the Patreon team and uh, commit to a year or two or more. I've had, I've got some coming up on three years now. Uh, here as I film this video in uh, in November of 2023. So thank you, Marty. I, I won't say his last name. He didn't give me permission. I didn't ask, but Marty has been supporting me longer than anyone. So thank you, Marty. Uh, he's coming up on three years here in December. Without these people, you wouldn't be watching these videos. They wouldn't exist. I would not be able to justify the expense and the time to do it. So please uh, stay for 32 more seconds and watch five of the names uh, come up on the screen and, you know, recognize that these are the people who make these videos possible. 73 from N4 H&H. &H.